Okay, so what is up guys? It's me the gaming pig and we have another uh, skin in this arcade mayhem uh, event and Oh my gosh, um, I'm just gonna say right now. I'm I'm decently disappointed um, I'll explain my reasons why but first let's talk about the character itself and just kind of talk about it um, And then I'll kind of go into why I am disappointed with it um, with that being said, I still think that this is a cool skin. I like to this at the beginning of videos because there's a lot of people who really, really, really are into FNAF AR. And I'm not trying to take that away from you or make you think otherwise. I'm merely telling you my opinion and thoughts on these. And you guys seem to really like when I talk about FNAF AR. I got a lot of people watching. So, I thought that I'd continue this um, and we'll do this whenever there's a new skin or character. In this case, it's another skin. Um, they can't really add no characters right now because, um, there is lockdown, obviously, and they are getting hit pretty hard by it, so they can't really, um, you know, work as hard to spend time to making the characters that, um, we really, really want. Now, these skins are, are, um, okay. Um, so this is part of the Arcade Mayhem event again, um, and it's where they, uh, you know, are doing like kind of arcade game, video game themed characters, and it's really obscure and random, but for the situation going on, again, it's very fun. And, uh, I mean, it's okay. So, let's talk about the design of this character. Um, very, 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 very similar to Toy Freddy's design, except this time, <laughs> Chica is blue, and uh, on, on her bib it says high score, but in other situations, when she has her beak off and stuff, it says um, game over and her eyes are red. Um, but in the normal situation, um, her eyes are kind of this goldish, and um, you know, she has high score and she has some uh, blue coloring. Um, very, very, very similar to um, uh, VR Freddy, and also this, this character again is called High Score. Toy Chica, um, so I I really 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 like Toy Chica. T Toy Chica is one of my favorite Chica designs, probably top tier top tier for me. Um, and just to see it kind of be like a, a boring reskin of a Chica. This is our first Chica skin, and to see it just kind of be a little bit boring like this. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like this skin, and I will say there's one really really unique thing about this, and that's that. She's holding a cupcake, but her cupcake is that 8-bit cupcake. It's just kind of floating up in the sky. And you know what? I'm okay with that. I think it's I think that's pretty cool. Um also I should say that um uh Toy Chica like um VR Freddy had some uh animated textures. In this case, they're kinda like cubic. Um while Toy Freddy's were kinda like mechanical wiry almost. Ele very electrical and video game-esque. For sure they're they're really living up to their promise of arcade mayhem but I, I just I just feel like um we could have got more um I and here's the thing in my last video I was saying how I don't get why Toy, VR Toy Freddy is a character in the first place and a lot of people were like <laughs> um it actually does make sense here's what in the comments and I was like you know what okay fine I'm wrong there fine um, but, this Toy Chica really makes sense as a gamer. I mean, I, honestly. Um, but then again, what other characters do make sense as a gamer? Well, if you're, if you're, I mean, Toy Freddy's basically the only character that's actually a video gamer. So, if we were to go off of that, that's fine. But at least make it more unique than just a skin <clears throat> that's blue Toy Chica with a changed bib and a different cupcake. I mean, that's all it is. Um, again... It's the same CPU making her the exact same as normal Toy Chica, um, which is actually a pretty hard character to defeat. Uh, you know, likes of Springtrap ch challenging, really. Um, and um, so, yeah, a really challenging character, but um, a boring skin, kind of, I would have to say. And uh, the cupcake uh, is a nice addition, um, but... Really, this isn't that unique. I mean, it's not even about not making sense at this point. It's just not unique. And I'm kind of disappointed. We could have had a Toy Chica, but it could have been something, I don't know, something different. Uh, I don't know what exactly, but something that rather than just blue Toy Chica with high score bib and pixel cupcake. 
that doesn't really scream video game to me, and that doesn't scream amazing unique skin to me. I remember when we had Shamrock, Freddy, I, I'll even count uh, Freddy Frostbear. I know he's not a skin, but he really, really seems like one, but he's not technically, but um, Freddy Frostbear, Shamrock, Freddy, Easter Bonnie, Chocolate Bonnie, those are, I mean, decently unique characters. Then we get to this, and it just feels, just feels off to me. Um, and I don't know why. Um, I'm really, I really, really hope it's not Toy Bonnie to be the next character, because if it is, I, I'm done. Um, and then I'm sure it will be, the Mango will be the next character after that, but I'd really rather that not be the case, because I know they're just going to do the same style, and I don't like that. Um, so I hope that, um, they do kind of like a 3D pixelated character. I've, I've seen that. Um, uh, also, I know it sounds kind of weird, but like, some Balloon Boy skin. I don't know why I could see Balloon Boy being that little kid gamer. You could give him some, uh, you know, of those pixel glasses that you see in all the memes and stuff. Um, and you could give him, like, some headphones. I could see BB being a really unique skin rather than just, um, you know, a different colored toy animatronic. Um, and BB's a toy animatronic. But I could see him being a little gamer there. Um, and... I just really hope that they come up with some more unique skins um, because I'm just waiting for all this to end this quarantine and stuff so we can actually get some new characters. We we're supposed to have Lefty, um, Plush Trap, and Funtime Freddy in the works for quite a while now, and that's still not happened. And that's because of lockdown, but and that's I, I don't blame them for that, but I just really can't wait till something more unique actually happens because. Um, this, this just doesn't scream amazing in quality, um, to me. So, tell me what you guys think, um, in the comments below. Um, please let me know, because I know that a lot of people really, really like FNAF AR, and I'm not a huge fan of it. But, I know that a lot of you guys like, um, these videos of me talking about FNAF AR. I like talking about it just because I have unpopular opinions about it, so I think that somewhat nice to kind of say it, um, but yeah, um, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I have some really exciting videos coming um, in the works. Uh, join my Discord so that way you know about them when they come out. Yeah, like, if you join my Discord, you already know that this video is coming. And say hi if you're from the Discord in the comments. I would love that. Um, but with that being said, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like. Also, um, comment, again, what you thought. And if you haven't already, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss um, my uploads and you can be the first to see them and you can comment first in the comments so yeah with that being said hope you enjoyed see you guys next time take care bye